I just asked, I've kept an argument with the black belt. Well, that's why. Still, well, you know, believe. Oh no, you have less movement. And that's why. Start off like this. That's why. That's why I'm saying some studios teach you to pivot, right? I don't like to teach you to pivot, and I explain to you why. Right? It's still your decision. Right? You can do it any way you want. But he was saying they were saying that he, you have less options, and you agree there's less options, but you're safer. Yeah, because you're ready. You're ready to receive a punch, right? Oh, I see. But if I'm standing square, yeah, I have more options. Not really. Okay. People think you have more, more options. Fancier moves. Right? This is what the guy was. The options that I have is this: jumping out of the way, right? Okay. And that's one of the things I would like to cover. Also, the movement. Yeah. Punch. Good. Right? You turn your shoulder farther around, right? Right, I'm facing. Okay, yeah. Now, I, I don't want you to turn your face. Okay. I just want you to make sure you get your shoulders turned. Mm -hmm. Okay? Look at me. Right. <laughs> Good. You see? What, what, look, when you do that, you can just go. Right? You step in a little bit. You'll do that. Right? Straight. Straight. And I'm like this. Aren't I open to be tagged? Okay, yes you are. Okay. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, right? If I do the right hand punch, right? Just left up windmill. Left up windmill block, right? You're still open, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I mean. I'm not gonna make a killer out of you. I'm gonna show you the proper way to get the right kind of leverage, utilizing coordination and timing. Other parts you have to deal with. You're gonna have to learn how to deal with. Them. Okay. But there's there's no foolproof system where everything is going to fit perfectly. Right? You have to learn. But if I were if I were going to turn this shoulder and you, and you can, then you still you're not advantage. I still I still want you to learn the proper way of doing it. Okay. Well, it's just like a son take out the trash. But I have to do homework, right? Uh, I didn't do this for mom. In other words, he's loading you up with, uh, with uh, excuses, but you still have to accomplish getting the trash out. So that's what I want to do first, is get you to block properly, and then later on we can deal with the other aspects. <laughs> But so much if the block is right on that kind of a punch, you <laughs> right. quarter there. Already. Not make the excuses to hinder you from understanding how to operate. Yeah. Uh, the first one is like when you're when you you're defending yourself and blocking, whatever. Okay. What do you what are you looking for? <laughs> what are you looking, what are looking for? Are you looking for at yeah, his fist or his hands or his arm or distance? Or distance. Right? Range. Right? When he gets close enough to kick you or punch you, you have to be ready. Okay? Now, whether he's punching or kicking or not really doesn't make a difference. Right? But when he gets in range, you have to be in a reaction. That's a good segue to the, the fighter coming in. Even if it's an offensive action. Okay? Uh, very, I have a real good question. Uh, the question is, is uh, what what do you react to? Do you react to the person? Do you react to the punch? Okay, you react to the distance. Okay, when the guy gets close enough to kick you, or the guy gets close enough to punch you, you have to react. Right? If he's going to punch me, right? Right? I, I, I wait for him to throw the punch. Right? I may not be able to block it in time. A good example. Okay, just stay there. Okay. I'm going to reach up. Okay. I'm going to reach up and touch you on the chest here. Okay. I want you to jump up, jump back, jump side, slap it away, try to block it, do whatever you can not to let me touch you on the chest. Okay? I'm going to do it with my right hand, and I'm going to do it right now. Okay? Are you ready? Okay? Are you ready? Okay? Are you ready? Ready? All right? See, you can't do it quick enough if you wait for the punch. Right? But... As soon as I got into the range or the proper distance, okay, even if it was not a block, in other words, if, if, I, if I stepped up here and didn't throw a punch, okay, you would still have to begin your reaction, okay, whether it's with a kick or with a 
hammer or a claw or whatever, he would have to react. Right? I mean, if it's your best friend, you wouldn't do it. But if you're, you know, somewhere in a dark alley or some bad spot, you wouldn't wait for the guy to come up like this. Right? Does it sound to an offensive art? Anyway? It's offensive, defensive, yeah. Okay? But the important part is you have to react to the distance. Don't watch his eyes, don't watch his belt. That's off, leg and arm <laughs> distance. Pardon? That's leg and arm distance. Yeah. Because your legs have a longer reach than an arm. That's right. Yeah. Okay? So when he gets within kicking range, okay, you got to begin your reaction, whether it's stepping into him and making a move at him, right? Uh, even if he hasn't begun a kick, or even if he hasn't begun a punch. Okay, uh, you were saying something, Robert? The question that always comes up is in, in connection with that. Guys, you know, what, doing one of these numbers. He's yeah, not I'm just coming in. I'm moving away from him. Like him. I'm moving away from him. Right? He's coming in like this. I don't, want, I don't want to let him get close enough to be able to jab me or punch at me. I want to move away from him. Okay. When he gets close enough or when he thinks he gets close enough that he's going to hit me, Okay. He's going to make a move and try to hit me. And that's when you react. That's which, when you do the thing that you were trained for. Okay. Well, what happens if he gets you up against the wall and he's still, still doing that? Okay. Right? He's still doing that. When he gets within range, you have to react. Okay? The same rule applies. But you, you can't play hot hands with the guy. Hot hands meaning... <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. He's probably going to hit you. Uh, any more questions? Oh yeah, um, we put the shoulder. When you get the shoulder guy. That makes that makes him that makes it a more difficult target when you get the shoulder instead of a square. It makes it more difficult from two or three different standpoints, right? Yeah, you're you're, you're not facing up to him, yeah. right? And because he's, he's got to come to your shoulder to get right. It. He's got it. He actually has to reach past this in order to hit me. You have to reach past my hand, right? In order to kick me, I, I saw earlier, right, somebody was kicking, right, and he'd wait till the person kicked and he couldn't get his hands in position, or he couldn't get in position quick enough, right? But in order to kick me, he has to reach past my hand. In order to punch me, he has to reach past my hand, right? Right? If you want to hit me, you have to reach past my hand, okay? If, if you want to punch me now, right, it makes it a lot easier, right? Because the, the target is closer to you, and there's Nothing. very little obstruction. Okay. Right? If you wanted to touch me, touch me. Right? 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 Yeah. Okay? So th that's another one of the reasons that you want to keep one side, one shoulder in front. Okay? Now, that, that's true. That's true. You want to come up here a second? That's true. During your normal workout or doing your, your normal combination techniques, a lot of places you see people doing this. Right? Now, see where his shoulder's at? His shoulder's where my shoulder should be. Right? His stance is where my stance should be. Right? In other words, he's standing in the middle of my position. He has a far superior position against me than I do against him. Okay? I'm strong this way. He's strong this way. Uh, you see where he's standing and I'm standing. In other words, he has the advantage. Right? So when, when you work, you don't want to do one, two, three. You see me shuffling my feet? Okay. You don't want to work yourself into this position. Okay? You always want to keep one shoulder in front. One, two, Three, four, five. Okay? When you want to convert, you convert. This shoulder comes in front. Right? right? Okay? Always keeping one shoulder in front and never squaring off. You don't want to square off. Okay? Try that. I, I didn't notice so much whether every, you guys were squaring off or not. But, uh, I see it a lot. My place. Where I teach, the students do that. You see them all the time, and you got to ball them up about their footwork. They keep shuffling in like this. 